Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for November 12th through the 18th. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see whatever comes up. I focus on love, so that's the way it goes. Um, this reading is not a private reading, <laughs> so it's it may not be for you. It may be, but it may not be. Don't try to make it fit. If it fits easily, then it's for you. If it doesn't, then it's not. This is being recorded before the week, so... You know, a lot of people don't use their common sense. No, And I know that you guys do, I mean, but most of the time, right? But we're not perfect. But anyway, um, they don't use their common sense and they watch a reading and it hasn't even, the timeline hasn't even happened yet. So it's like, okay, whatever. But anyway, Taurus. What does Taurus need to know for the week of November 12th? through the 18th, what will Taurus be experiencing? What does Taurus need to know? This reading is for Taurus. Mm. You may be lacking ambition this week for some reason maybe your confidence has been shot down for some reason you never know i mean the queen of wands reversed is somebody who may not be seeing things clearly her vision may be clouded she's not up to par okay uh, Ooh, the king of cups reversed interesting interesting you could be dealing with a man that is detached, cold-hearted, um, withdrawn, not communicating. If you're a man, you could be dealing with a woman who is lacks ambition. You Maybe you've lost passion for this woman or this woman's lost passion for you. This woman has no... The woman in this dynamic has no ambition to do much, put it that way. She's feeling pretty lazy at this time. You could be dealing with a woman that has no drive. And if you're, and if you're the woman, you ha you're dealing with a man that can't communicate and is, can't love. Okay? He's not able to love at this time. But you may have another opportunity for love, so keep that in mind. And it could happen very, very quickly. So, for either one of you, you may have a new offer of love coming in and it could happen just like that. Yeah. It's like you have a new opportunity. Both of you have a new opportunity to start fresh in a new direction. You're going to have to put in effort, though. You're going to have to put in effort to open your heart. To give somebody a chance, perhaps. To stop hanging on, stop sacrificing yourself for the person that is causing all this lack. Stop hanging on to some situation. Stop hanging on right now to some situation that is not going anywhere. Take a risk. Yeah, you got to take a risk. Taking a risk is needed. You're, you're, somebody has this fear of going down this new path. Afraid to be taken advantage of because they dealt with an immature individual in the past who couldn't communicate and didn't um, respect their boundaries. So now I have this fear of getting myself involved in any kind of relationship. But you do need to take a risk at this point. And be optimistic. We have a woman here that is probably a little resentful. 
and you really need to look at things from a new perspective, put your sword down and then justice will be served. Let your guard down. Try to be optimistic about new beginnings, okay? Because it looks like you're going to receive some kind of communication with the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Wands from somebody that wants you to give them a chance. And you're being asked to, like... like Try. Just give it a try. But the woman lacks confidence because she was dealing with a man that couldn't communicate. There you are. In reversed. You're not being grounded, right? This was a week of feeling insecure with who you are. And you know, we go through this, right? We do. You may feel like, you know what, this is this woman is usually, she's, she's, a lot of times she's alone. She's very independent. You're like, you know, right now I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I just need to be alone because I can't master my emotions at this time. I mean, if we look at these two queens in reverse, we have, we have a woman here that is not feeling secure, not feeling stable, not have you having any ambition to do much. Lazy. You know, and it's not that lazy is always bad. Sometimes you need that downtime. And I think this so far, it's something has happened and it's, it's involving a man that has made you feel Lack, lack self-esteem. They brought your self-esteem, your self-worth, and your self-confidence down. And you're not seeing it clearly. And you need to see it clearly. You know, it gave you strength. The wounds, wounds that you have encountered through this, whatever it was, have, have given you strength. I think that you are going through a period of, you know, giving up on love. I'm, I'm considering just giving up on this and living the, the lonely life. You know, I'd rather just be alone. This is a down week. And, you know, that's not, and I'm going to get a comment. I'm sure, why does this have to be negative? Well, if that's the way you look at it, then <laughs> you're the negative one. We learn from experience and we all have to go through these ups and downs to grow, to figure out where we're going. There's been some sort of deception here with the seven of swords that has. Somebody has taken It's like they've stolen something from you. And it has to do with your security. I mean, they've stolen your mojo, per se. You know what I mean? Your self-respect. Yes, they have, with the Five of Swords. Somebody has belittled you. And really caused you to feel conflicted about your worth. Somebody brought you down and made you feel empty inside.
Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords. These are terrible cards. This person, whoever you were dealing with, had huge, huge issues with themselves. This person, all they care about is themselves. They don't care who they hurt in the process. So don't allow what they have done to keep you down. It's you. The only person that can make you happy is you. And you have an opportunity to bring happiness back if you think positive. Do not let this past deception, this past conflict that you had with whoever it was that brought you to your knees and belittled you and left you to for dead, whatever. Whoever ghosted you. You have the opportunity to be happy without them. And you will be happier without them. Trust me, you will. You could have been dealing with a Leo or Pisces. This person lives in an illusion. This person is very deceptive. Look at this shit. The moon with the five of swords. You are dealing with somebody who escapes reality. But rest assured, they're also escaping happiness because of their deception. It's time to break free, liberate yourself from this situation. The storm is over. The storm is over. You've already hit the bottom of the barrel with this person. Stand up. Let go of this betrayal. Let go of this sneaky, shady individual who's nothing but a fake. Stand up and walk away. Stop hanging on to this person. It's time for you to take that next step. Make that decision to go in a new direction. You may be feeling like you don't know what to do. You don't know if you, if you should let go or not. I think you should. It's time to put in your effort elsewhere. You deserve to be appreciated. You deserve to work with somebody that respects you and sees what you have to offer that will... Um, Appreciate the skills that you have. There's an opportunity for you to work together with somebody else. But you have to make that decision to head in that new direction. And stop going back and forth with it. I mean, you are. It's like you're going back and forth. It's like, I don't... Oh. You don't know what you want, right? One minute you're you're good. You don't you don't want this person that is a complete lie, or in the next minute you you do. You deserve to be loved. Open your heart to somebody new. You have a choice to make. Stop sacrificing yourself for a false foundation 
when you have an opportunity for new love. Consider that you consider this. You have avoided a much bigger disaster by losing this individual who didn't respect you. Because you do have a new opportunity with somebody who will appreciate, respect you, and work with you. But you got to stop thinking about going back. You keep thinking about going back to this egotistical asshole. Why? Because you don't know your worth at this time? You're feeling lonely? Because you're feeling lonely? This queen down here, the queen of swords, the overall outcome, she's wise. Very wise. She would rather be alone than taken advantage of. She's seeing things clearly. You are not. You need to see this situation clearly. You deserve to be loved. Don't let yourself get so ungrounded that you think about going back to somebody who didn't respect you. This person that you're thinking about going back to doesn't even care if they hurt you. Okay? They don't know how to communicate. They don't, they're detached and withdrawn and they're dealing with other people. Is that what you're worth? You have an opportunity for new love with somebody else. And that's the truth. A new partnership. A divine connection. No kidding. Love. Love. Somebody wants to partner up with you. They see what you have to offer. They do. But you have to break the bond with the devil. The toxic situation that you have been tied to. You, it's time to break that bond. Break free. Break the chains. So I think this week, you may be a little in your head. Because you have to make the decision, twos are decisions, choices, to break that chain for once and for all. And accept this new offer that has been presented to you probably last week. Now this is for the 12th through the 18th. If it wasn't last week, it was in the recent past you you have been offered an opportunity for love. But you're going to have to face your fears and you're going to have to break the chains with the devil. That had such a big ego. The devil is ego. And this is huge ego as well. That lied to you, deceived you, didn't respect you, cheated you. Robbed you of your self-worth and self-esteem. Brought you to your knees. Fuck them. I'm sorry. Ugh. I'm sorry. No, stop. Focus on the future. A new ship has arrived. Accept the new offer. It's time. You, there's an arrival of love. And it leads to happiness, commitment, perhaps even marriage. Extreme happiness. Accept it. You have to make a choice. Are you ready to break these chains? This is a week of making a decision.
somebody wants to work with you, they want to partner up with you, and they may, it may, you may even receive a proposal from this person. Let's do this. Whoever this person is, they've been thinking about making this offer for quite some time. And I feel like you're going to receive that offer this week. So Taurus, let's get an oracle card. What am I going to use? I don't want it to be too long. I think I'll use the angel romance. That's easy, right? All right, oracle. What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? There is love. There is love. Somebody wants you to commit to them. Could be a Capricorn. Could be anybody. All the signs are here. All of them are here. Could be anybody. It's funny. It is funny. I've been thinking about a Capricorn lately. Ooh. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. This is a great card, right? Go do it. Allow it to start and it will grow right into love and commitment. So Taurus, I feel like you have an opportunity for love. If you can not let this past person, what they did to you, hold you back. Be wise enough to know what you are worth. And try to be optimistic about new beginnings. Because somebody wants to partner up with you. And it could lead to engagement. I mean, come on now. Do it. 